Hello and welcome to the third episode in this Practical Python series. In this video we're going to be focusing on Python lists. The Python list is just a set of information. And for each entry in this set, you want to separate it by a comma. So this is a set of numbers. I'm choosing to put a space in between each number for readability. Python lists are extremely useful. And what they are is a sequence of information that's ordered by an index, and they're very flexible. To access individual pieces of this set, we use the index. The index starts at zero, so the first entry of the list, we want to get the zeroth index, and it returns 100. Now in this favorite data, let's say you want to skip around. Let's say we want to get the fourth item in the list, which is at the third index. When we use the third index, we get 80, which is the fourth item. Now if we want to get the fifth, we go to the fourth index, and that returns 20. And you see the pattern. We do the fifth, we get 80. Now if we go outside the index of the list, we'll get an error. To summarize, we started out with a list which is called favorite data, and we can access points within the list by index. For example, we looked at index 0, 3, 4, and 5. When we went to the sixth index, we got an error. Notice at the bottom it says list index out of range. Now let's say we have a new set of favorite data. Another way that we can index values point to certain entries in the list is to use negative indexing. If I say favorite data at the index negative 1, I get the last entry in the list. If I go negative 2, I get the next value. Then moving to the left, we can keep going. The third is a 6. The fourth most from the left is 3. This is a nice feature if you just want to reference a list from its last few values. In the beginning of the video, I referenced that the Python list is very flexible, and here's the demonstration of that. We have some interesting data here. The value at the zero index is 35. We then have a string at the first index, which is Python. We can even have a list within a list. And at the second index, we have that list and we can print it out fully. The Python list is flexible in the sense that you can have multiple types of data contained within a list. Let's look a little closer at the list within a list. The syntax for referencing values of a list within a list is double brackets is two sets of brackets. The first set of brackets of interesting data, too, refers to the position of the list within the main list. And then the second set of brackets refers to the position of the data point we're interested in within the sublist. So here we have two within the first brackets and one within the second brackets. We index the sublist in the same way that we index the main list. The one index is the second entry in the sublist, which is 40. Thank you for watching this video on Python lists. We saw that it's an ordered sequence of values that has an index, and we saw that they can be very flexible. Stay tuned for more content in the Practical Python series and much more. I hope you have a great day. And see you next time.